Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video about uh, the kind of uh, spell slash uh, creation of a temporary god um, ritual I'm about to do. Um, the ritual is very Hindu. Uh, Hindus recognize that certain gods, most gods, are finite. Um, besides the, uh, the main forms of divinity, most gods are finite. Finite in that they are uh, very um, bound to a certain time period, a certain uh, time that they can only last within, uh, in that their expiration is assured, at least eventually. And uh, right now I am creating a fire Devi, uh, a fire goddess, um, for one purpose, and also to exist only for this ritual and to cast that energy out into the universe and to bring what I want uh, and what I'm doing this ritual for to me. And uh, I've avoided doing this or uh, I'm avoiding doing this kind of uh, ritual or spell because I don't want to be stuck with somebody that I dislike. <laughs> and uh, this, this ritual and this uh, type of spell is uh, to bring feminine love uh, my way. And I've avoided this for a long time because I basically know uh, who I will fall in love with and uh, what kind of person she will be because I've basically seen her in my mind. Uh, it's been put there a long time ago and I don't want to be stuck with anybody that isn't that woman. Uh, but let me give you a picture of uh, the Vive that I've put together before the fire ritual starts. And uh, that's the fire Devi that I'm going to be uh, creating and then tasking with um, bringing to me feminine love. And I've used divination, shell divination, seashell divination specifically, uh, kind of like reading bones. It's very uh, insight oriented and not uh, structured. But uh, Sailing Fire is the name I came up with uh, for this temporary Devi. And uh, this is a practice that's done throughout India. Um, a rock that is in a village that has been there a long time and people like and appreciate might be painted with a face and hands and uh, a bangle on her nose or something like that. And uh, basically a Devi is created, a goddess. A temporary goddess, but a goddess. And uh, what the upward hands represent is uh, emotional comfort, uh, telling you not to be afraid. Downward hands is giving material gifts. And uh, I have two upward hands here uh, for emotional comfort because I'm attracting feminine love. And uh, the bangle or the, the nose ring or things like that are to represent a kind of harnessing to a specific purpose, a kind of uh, tamed and controlled uh, representation of a goddess. Uh, when they have that earrings, nose rings, bangles, that kind of stuff, it means that they are tamed uh, and there for a specific purpose. Um, but uh, before I start all this, uh, I can't and I won't uh, actually film the fire ritual, but I will take pictures of it. Um, but it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be proper for me to, uh, film the, the actual ritual. I'm just filming the, uh, the lead up to it, basically. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer, uh, Sailing Fire, this Devi, uh, cheese and milk and, uh, a candle, a pink candle, which represents love. And those are going to be offerings that are going to be one-time things for this one-time Devi. And, uh... Basically, that influence will be uh, cast out into the universe, and it will manifest what I have sought. Uh, at least that's the plan, and I do believe that it will work because I've done similar things like this, but not exactly like this, and they have worked in the past. So I just wanted to make a quick video about what I'm doing right now, and uh, I hope that uh, hope that you all look into it. Uh, it's uh, diff different kind of practice in Hinduism. Uh, temporary gods, um, non-divine gods, I guess you could say, but it's a, it's a practice that can aid each and every person um, and bring to you what you desire or what you seek to overcome, and that's all I got to say. Thank you.